Newton Luvuga chats his day away. Business has been at its lowest. As a welder, his life literally depends on availability of electricity. We've not done any work since morning. As a result, he's likely to go home empty-handed. The six or so dollars he earns per day will certainly not come by. Across the road, Wambua operates a dry cleaning business. On this day, he's out of business. My business has been hit hard. I have employees whom I have had to send home. I need electricity for this machine to work. Not far away, George Mburu, a supervisor at a local supermarket, is crossing his fingers. He does not know for how long he can rely on the generator and the risk of his perishable supplies going bad is real. We have things like ice cream milk that have gone bad now that there is no electricity. It is a big loss for us. The effects of the power blackout were felt across the country. Kenya has been struggling to improve its power generation capacity, but outdated facilities, reliance on expensive independent power producers and hydropower have often frustrated these efforts and pushed up the cost of power. The last time Kenya suffered a countrywide blackout, it was blamed on some wayward monkey that found its way into a power generation plant. That sounded hilarious, and this time round, the country's power distributor was a bit careful, blaming the crisis on a technical hitch. In April, Kenya's parliament passed a bill compelling the power distributor to compensate consumers for power blackouts exceeding three hours. The president is yet to sign it into law. Catherine Omwando, CCTV.